What are you showing on this screen? This screen is actually a, a, a visual representation of all the users we have uh, using Opera Mini. One dot represents uh, a certain amount of page views and you can zoom in and see where the activity is going on. Can you do a little bit of zooming? Is this real time? It is. This is real time. It's for real? It's not fake? No, it's not fake. But there's a lot of data going around there, right? It's a lot of data. It's all aggregated and anonymous data. How much bandwidth do you need to just pull this data out of your system and show it here? I don't really have the statistics for that, but uh, you know, we can see the log here. It shows that it's uh, right now 56,000 pages being transcoded on the servers every second. On this screen? Or on the whole world? On the screen, yeah. yeah? So. On the whole world or just now shown? It's the whole world. Alright. You see in the US the activity yeah. is low because it's uh, early, early morning here now. Uh, if you go over here you see the activity is high, especially in the Russia industry. Nice. This is kind of awesome. It is actually. It's a very nice demo. And it's not uh, Google Earth? Hmm? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's a proprietary 3D. It's actually something uh, some programmers in Opera made uh, on a flight when they were bored from China to uh, <laughs> Stockholm, no, to, uh, to Sweden. They were a little bit bored and they came up with a concept and said, yeah, we could do this. And they made a rough prototype and people liked it, so they had it as a hobby. Nice. Yeah. It's not based on the same software that Google uses to show searches at the headquarters? Uh, I don't know. I never okay. asked Google what they use. All right. So, what's the latest news here at the Opera? They're actually showing off uh, two new versions of uh, Opera yeah? Mini and Opera Mobile. It's, uh, it's Opera Mini. This is a very basic phone, as you can see. It uh, has um, not a lot of power and not a lot of memory, but it still has access to, to all the latest news and uh, social networks with something we call the Smart Page, which is this page here. This is Opera Mini Next, so it's a preview of what will come in Opera Mini 7. It has a lot of smart functions for people who don't really want to type a lot, but still own this kind of phone, which is most people in the world. Uh, you, it actually remembers which pages you, uh, which you pages you access the most, so it um, you don't have to type it yeah. every time. You just access it through here. You have the nine most used pages automatically. Right. You have your social networks over here. So, so yeah. So this so, so this is like shipping millions and millions and millions of Opera phones in this kind of phone, right? Yes, we have uh, more than 160 million uh, Opera Mini users every month. 160 million? Yes, every month. And most of them are on feature phones? A lot of them are on feature phones, yeah. We don't uh, exactly break it down, but a lot of them are on feature phones. So, uh, uh, I think uh, Eric Schmidt had uh, talked about, for example, Kenya or something like that, that there was 98% of the people on uh, accessing the internet there are on phones. Yeah. That's probably true, yeah. So it's thanks to you? Well, it's a large part thanks to us. You can see it over that globe again. Let's go in Africa. Yeah, let's go in Africa. You can see Nigeria is huge. We had an enormous growth in Nigeria in later years. You can see the different regions are coming. To Might be there. Kenya, maybe? Kenya should be here, yeah. You can see the growth. A lot of people around the country. That's... I mean, um, that's kind of a humanitarian what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a happy accident to say that. We are, we're a company, we have to make money, but we also have a vision that everybody deserves the right to be on the web and to access information. And it, it, we are glad to expand in those regions, uh, and we are, of course, doing everything we can to make it even easier for people to access the web. Yeah. So this kind of phone is the one that you're talking about, in the, with a smart page function, which is uh, debuting in Opera Mini Next, which is a preview version of Opera Mini 7. You can get easy access to the different uh, social functions like uh, Facebook and Twitter. You had easy access to the latest news. Could you go up to Netbook News? There was right there. Run down this one. Let's, let's enter this. So it shows up because you were searching Mobile World Congress, so what are we showing? It uh, shows up because somebody has put it in an RSS feed or subscribed to it as a social medium. Nice. And you know, for people having feature phones, this is a, this is a really nice improvement. You don't have to type in an address, you don't have to remember the passwords, you just access it really fast. So it kind of brings the smart functions to the feature phone, the smart things of the feature phone. All right. And uh, what are the other demos you have here? On um, the other end of the spectrum, I'm actually going to take you over to one yeah. of the Chinese. Oh, 
So this, is, of course, is a high-end uh, device. It has, it's a pure smartphone. It has a lot of cool functions. This is actually our Chinese version of uh, the Opera product. It's called Opong. It's highly tailored for the Chinese market. It has integrated functions with uh, the camera API. We have integrated functions with the gravity API. Nice. So you can actually access all of these functions on the phone directly from the web page. So it's augmented HTML5? Yeah, here you go. It's, it's loaded up the camera and you can see, you can access the camera directly and you can take a picture and you can show it on the page. It's all in the same page. This is pure, this is a web page. A web page? Uh, yes, there's no app, uh, native app magic going on. It's pure web page. And you have some other functions to see here. It's a gravity function, and it gets the measurements from the gravity sensor in the phone. So this is also this is also a web page. Nice. So is Opera contributing a lot to the HTML5? Yeah, we are actually the ones uh, that kind of came up with the HTML5. It started at Opera yeah. a long time ago, and we are represented in the W3C, and we do a lot of uh, contribution to the standards. We also have proposed a video tag. Which is now the standard video, yeah. For, yeah. The, the, the video yeah. tag the system, which is now catching on a lot. So you basically pushing the industry and say, "Come on, come on!" Yeah. What are you doing? That's uh, that's kind of what we do, you know, because we believe that uh, we believe that the web <laughs> is the one true platform for all information. We don't think that we think that uh, the web should be free. We think it should be accessible by all devices. We uh, we don't think that information lives very well in. <laughs> Inside a closed application, so if it's on the, if it's on the web, it's accessible for everybody. It's free. Do you want other companies to copy what you do? <laughs> like uh, there's Amazon and uh, Google Chrome on Android. They're both doing a cache. Uh, what's it called a proxy uh, proxy, based, proxy uh, thing? Processing. Yeah. Is that your idea? No. We started it a long time ago. It's 2006. I think. Um, we are actually glad to see that they are catching on to a good idea. <laughs> to say that. And, um, well, we have a very strong. Product. Product. You know, we have so many users and it's growing very fast, so we feel all confident that this is going to this is going to this is going to continue. So the next step, kind of, uh, for, for embedded devices, is uh, desktop computing, right? Yeah. So you need a bigger screens. Huh. We actually have an even bigger screen than that. We have an Opera TV store over here. This is uh, this one up here. Yeah. This is a TV store, which is a product that uh, TV manufacturers can build into their TV or their set up boxes or Blu ray players or whatever that you can uh, buy for your living room. So it's all HTML5 based. Yeah. They are all HTML5 applications and they run they run on your uh, TV to let's see, start this one. This is a game based on HTML5. They run on your TV, they're especially made for the big uh, screen. And uh, for the lean back experience. So, whenever a TV manufacturer wants to install a um, store on their TV, they can just come to us and we can give them a, the whole store with the applications and everything. It's ready to go. How about the desktop computing? From uh, let's, let's say we use HDMI out on the phone, mm -hmm. and we want to have like uh, nearly the same experience as a desktop browser. Do you do that? Um, I think that if you, if you saw the. Um, the Opera Mobile browser or the Opong version of the Opera Mobile yeah. browser, it's, it's, almost, it's almost there, it's almost the same thing. If you run HTML5 tests on the mobile yeah. browser, it's almost at the same point where of the best desktop browsers. Okay. I think it's actually second, uh, the second the most compatible HTML5 browser, and that's on a mobile phone. So, you know, it's, it's a small step from doing what you say to take the HDMI to a TV and then have, just have a Bluetooth keyboard or something and just yeah. running all the computing, computing power on your phone. And the user interface and all that is similar to desktop? It can't, no, it doesn't need to change, it's still are, a mobile there are, UI, right? Yeah, well, there are different, uh, uh, different versions. You know, we have, uh, you, on a mobile you use your fingers. Yeah. And um, of course, on a PC, you use your keyboard to, and mouse to navigate. Yeah. So you will have a different um, implementations of the UI. That's uh, that's a given. Also, for the big screen, you need to have nice. and you need to adapt to the four-way navigation of a remote. Yeah. So, but that the, the point is that that's actually just uh, superficial. Yeah. Uh, and below it, you have all you have the whole web, and that is where um, we believe that the true information is. This is just an this is just a gateway to the web. 
and we can adapt the gateway a little bit. We can uh, make the changes needed to make it a better experience. But as long as the as long as the web is there and it's free, then you know it's. Uh, it's not, it doesn't really matter how you access it. So the technology and processors is, advanced, uh, is advancing so fast. Yeah. And uh, so the cheaper phones are getting better, and yeah. the expensive ones are getting also better. Yeah, yeah. So Opera is very busy, I guess. Like. Yeah, we are very busy. You know, we're getting new functions uh, almost uh, <laughs> almost every month into the browser. It's uh, which implementing new functions all the time. You know, as these functions show you here with the gravity sensor yeah. and. Uh, uh, so camera. it's just an app. It's a free app. It's a free app. It's free to download. You can download it in the Android market. You can download Opera Mini for iOS, and you can also go to m.apple.com to uh, download the browser here. And you make money through a Google partnership uh, or not? We make money through uh, uh, partnerships with Search, for example, Yandex and Google and other partners yeah. all over. Yeah. We make also part. Uh, we also make um, partnerships. Uh, to promote certain speed hours and stuff. We also have uh, deals with the operators yeah. going on. We are big in, you know, for example, Vodafone is a partner, and they have launched with us, so we are expanding that. And Telnor is a partner, okay. and we make a little bit of money there, a little bit of money here, and a little bit of money there. So. Are you better than Chrome for Android? I would say so, yeah. Yeah? I would say how, so. How do you, why would you say so? Um, actually, I, I tested uh, Opera uh, yeah. Mobile 12 now, which is now in the new version for Android, and it's uh, so far it's one of the few things that made me uh, make me want to shift to Android. I'm not an Android user today. Yeah. How about the um, uh, what's it called the uh, Flash support? What about it? Flash. Yeah, well, we do support Flash on platforms. You, that do you support Flash. totally support Flash. Yeah, we do support Which Flash. Which Chrome 400 does not. Well, it doesn't uh, slow down anything to have it. Uh, th that all depends on the platform. But uh, actually, we are moving uh, in a direction with HTML5 video. Yeah. And we support Flash when it's available, but we also support HTML5 uh, video tag. So it, it's, it's yeah. not a. Uh, you will always support Flash just in case. It's going to be there. I can't really comment on the future. Yeah. That's, uh, but a ice cream sandwich, Opera on Android, fine. Flash. Perfect. Um, if the, the only thing that um, the only thing that uh, yeah. limits us from supporting Flash if is, is if the device doesn't support Flash. Yeah. So Opera Mobile supports Flash if the device supports Flash. It's, 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 Opera was the first to support that like five years ago. Yeah. Right. That's the thing. Yeah. Right.